The following is an Outdoor Channel original production. NASCAR's best, battle it out for big fish bragging rights. All in support of a worthy cause. Now I got it figured out. You a ladies man. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now on Real Trees NASCAR Outdoors. Real Trees NASCAR Outdoors, presented by Chevy Silverado, the official truck of the outdoors. Hello, everybody. I'm Bill Jordan. For the ones who know me, you know that I live for the outdoors. But what you may not know, that I'm a big fan of the sport of NASCAR. The fans, the pits, the cars. It's intense lightning fast pace in every sense of the word. Here on Real Trees NASCAR Outdoors, I have the chance to take these drivers and personalities out here in my world. And let me tell you, you'll see a whole different side from the one at the track. Every year, thousands flock to Daytona Beach for the Great American Race. But before the big event, some of the top names in NASCAR go head to head at Daytona Speedway's Enfield Lake for the Hot Rods and Reels Charity Fishing Tournament. This is a unique blend of racing and fishing as these drivers and personalities gather to support the Darrell Gwynn Foundation's mission to provide mobility to a young person in need. Uh, this is awesome. I mean, you know, we've been here from day one with Darrell and, uh, you know, to see how hard he works for other people, it's, uh, it's just remarkable. Great job, guys. You know, these aren't, these aren't easy to put on. I mean, it only seems like a couple hours, but it's a ton of work to get ready, and Darrell and everybody at the Darrell Wind Foundation just do an awesome job. So, uh, proud to be a part of that and proud to be, uh, you know, associated with Darrell and, uh, you know, see kids uh, like we saw today uh, get, get a new wheelchair. That's what it's all about. Daryl Gwynn, uh, been a longtime friend of, of our sport and mine. Uh, he has a couple fish, fishing tournaments, and one of them here at Daytona. Uh, it's such a special time because it kind of kicks the year off and sits everybody, I think, in the right frame of mind about, you know, giving back to people who need some help. And Daryl, he understands what it needs to be able to get around because he's been incapacitated for quite a while. If it weren't for those motorized chairs, uh, he would really, you know, not allow him to do what he does. And he gives to a lot of young kids. They raise money and making sure these kids get an opportunity to have some mobility and a quality of life that uh, otherwise that maybe they would not get. Got a cool looking ride right there. Yeah, I do. I just, I've been a part of every one of Daryl Gwynn's hot rods and reels and uh, it's convenient first of all, but uh, it's something I like to do fishing, something that's a great hobby of mine that um, is entirely different from racing, but uh, we're here for his benefit with the uh, the wheelchair giveaways and things like that that, that he does so well with the kids and um, you know, catching a fish is beneficial, but uh, seeing those kids smile is, is what it's all about. Hey, what I get working with something, I'll make it run 100 mile an hour. <laughs> you know, it's just it's so neat to be able to do this, but. Daryl does such a great job of, of Good morning, you know, and creating a, a fun atmosphere with his, so his foundation. Um, I'm telling you, you see these kids get their, uh, you know, their wheelchair. It's, it's a life-changing, you know, experience for them. I mean, literally, it enables them to do things that they've never been able to do before. All right, I'm lucky enough and fortunate enough to have right next to me the co-founder of the Daryl Wynn Foundation, Mr. Daryl Wynn himself, to the official start of our mission. Thank you, John. Uh, I first want to thank Daytona International Speedway and all of our staff and volunteers for, uh, for a great event and uh, the good Lord for a great uh, weather this morning. And uh, thanks for all the drivers who got up early this morning to come out here and all of our participants and guides. This is the official start. So all you ladies and gentlemen, go for it. All right. Oh, there you go. Good luck, everyone. How about Newman? He actually thinks he's gonna win. He doesn't even have a chance at winning. Look at him. There's not a chance. Not a chance. He said he had a good feeling he was gonna win something today, and I told him he needed to go to a gas station buy some lottery tickets because it wasn't gonna happen in the tournament. I was fortunate enough to win the one in Homestead, and Clint was running his mouth about he won last year, so I, um, I'm gonna try to dethrone him. Those guys, they're not gonna win. Look at them. They're not even prepared. They're all. It's almost like they're relaxed or something. That's not going to work. You got to be tense to win these things. Very tense. 
That means we don't have a chance, because look at you. Oh, anytime you can beat Tony Stewart, I mean, that's that's what, you know, the, the goal is because, you know, that's Macho Man plus, you know, Mr. Fisherman plus, 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 plus. I mean, you know, if you're going to take somebody down, you take him down. We're, we're fishing with shiners, so so it's, it's like little, 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 little baby. So whatever we catch is going to be big because it's going to be eating this thing for breakfast. Are you sure that they will eat that? <laughs> is it possible in the history of fishing that the shiner will eat the fish. Hey, I'm just going to use our bait to weigh in. Are you kidding me? Oh, he, yeah, well, he had one. The robbery is heating up over big fish bragging rights. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. In the heart of Daytona's International Speedway. I'm Ryan Newman, and you're watching Realtree's NASCAR Outdoors on the Outdoor Channel, America's leader in outdoor TV. Realtree's NASCAR Outdoors is brought to you by Chevy Silverado, the one you depend on, the one that lasts. By Valero, keeping America moving. By Primo's Hunting, speak the language. By Millennium, comfort to hunt all day, all season. By New Holland, the official tractor of Team Realtree. By Day6 Plot Watcher Pro, one million images, one set of batteries, one camera. By B&W Trailer Hitches, American-made trailer hitches. By Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. And by Bill Jordan's Realtree, family, friends, and the outdoors. One of the top NHRA drag racers of all time, Darrell Gwynn has chalked up a list of accomplishments longer than the Daytona Speedway itself. But on a fateful day in 1990, everything would change. In an exhibition race in England's Santa Pod Raceway, Darrell's drags were suddenly broke and veered left into a retaining wall at approximately at 240 miles per hour, causing major life-threatening injuries to the 28-year-old driver. A terrific battle of faith and determination allowed Gwen to survive the ordeal, but he was left paralyzed and lost his left arm. Today, the one thing that has never changed is his willingness to meet challenges head on and live life on his terms. As president of the Darrell Gwynn Foundation, he is dedicated to the cure of paralysis and providing mobility to underprivileged paralyzed victims. The annual Hot Rods and Reels Charity Fishing Tournament at Daytona Speedway brings together the biggest names in NASCAR to help support that cause. And it's a beautiful morning here at Daytona International Speedway. We've got a lot of great participants out here catching fish. Tony Stewart, Ryan Newman, Dave Blaney, Bobby Labonte. They're all catching fish, but it's all for a great cause, the Darrell Gwynn Foundation. We're giving a power wheelchair away today as well. So uh, it's a great day. The weather's here and uh, it's, uh, we got all these guides that come out to donate their time. And uh, what else can you ask for? We're racing and fishing. Well, I've done this for several years, and Daryl's such a great guy, and uh, you know, try to help him out as much as possible, and you know, obviously do do a couple things, help him out and his foundation out, and then get out here and do some fishing. We always do this at, at Lake Lloyd here in Daytona. Uh, you know, every every Friday after the duels, so everyone's kind of, you know, the the field is set for the 500. We're all can kind of kind of relax and. Uh, Raise some money for a good cause. Daryl always uh, gives away a few wheelchairs to some of the young kids in the area that are in need and come out and uh, fish a little bit. And uh, It is competitive. We, we want to win, but uh, we, we do remember we're out here for, uh, for the right reasons. You know, without, without the foundation, Owen wouldn't have a power chair and, um, you know, wouldn't be driving around on his own and playing with the kids at his school without someone pushing him. And, um, you, know, it's, you know, it's really a blessing to us and our whole family. and and everybody, so so it's really <laughs> it's cheesing away at us there. Um, but you know, it's just been uh, been wonderful. It's given him so much independence, and uh, you know, which is something that's taken away from you, you know. So so it's just uh, you know been been a really wonderful thing. I'm glad we have bobbers today. Keep it simple. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory when the bobber goes down. Guess what? We have a fish. So, uh, and then what we did is we put these channels in here, 
right? So now you could put, you got a bite? Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, all right. Here we go. I thought I, I saw it move, but I wasn't even thinking about it. Great Amelia speech, too. All right, that's all right. That's all right. I can multitask with the best of them. Who's that guy? And who invited him? Yeah. Get it in You ready? I'm going to swim around. Yeah. Nice fish. Nice fish. Done. It's two. That was a tag team, brother. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Team Newman takes an early lead in Darrell Gwynn's Hot Rods and Reels Charity Fishing Tournament. But will he have what it takes to throw on the reigning champion? Hey, I got one! Find out next on Realtree's NASCAR Outdoors. sports festivals in America, the Daytona 500 brings out some of the nation's brightest stars. From the silver screen, to reality television, to hard-nosed Super Bowl champ. But as crowds gather for all the splendor surrounding the big event, the biggest names from NASCAR are going head-to-head -head on Derek Wynn's Hot Rods and Reels Charity Fishing Tournament. Held on Daytona Speedway's famed Lake Lloyd, this annual event is dedicated to providing mobility to a young person in need. Uh, it's such a great cause. Uh, you know, I do this as often as I can. I, I do this just about every year. So uh, Daryl puts on a great uh, event here, and it's for such a great cause to give these kids mobility, to be able to get around um, and give them a little bit more of a, of a sense of a, of a normal life and to be able to just get around and do some things that they couldn't otherwise do. Oh, yeah. Nice fish. Nice fish. All right. Now we got it broke. There we go. We ain't now skunk. we got it broke. We ain't skunk. That's a nice fish. Uh -huh. That's what I'm talking about. All we need to do is have a little icebreaker right there, and I think Jack has done it. Nice, nice fish right there. I'm going over the top, everybody. I just gave my fish a concussion. He just fell from 2,000 feet. We've got a good guide here. We're just kind of. Kind of strolling around, seeing, uh, make sure we're, we're, we're not missing the big one. You know, we uh, well, we hung around the dock, maybe a few uh, uh, a few of the shaded areas around, and Lake Lloyd's pretty big. I mean, you got a lot of a lot of spots here. There's some big fish out here, so we'll we'll see how we stack up. You guys see my bobber? Tony Stewart, right on. I'd say there's if, there, if there's 20 teams, five will make a limit. Here, yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. I mean, this is fun to do this because it's a change of pace of, from what we're doing on the racetrack. I don't know, 195 miles an hour, but. It's all on the wrist. Newman doesn't have a neck. So when he gives interviews, he just looks out of the corner of his eye. Keeper. Nah, we're 
talking. But will it be enough to back his bluff to beat fellow driver Ryan Newman? You're watching Realtree's NASCAR Outdoors right here on Outdoor Channel. Realtree's NASCAR Outdoors is brought to you by Chevy Silverado, the one you depend on, the one that lasts. By Valero, keeping America moving. By Primo's Hunting, speak the language. By Millennium, comfort to hunt all day, all season. By New Holland, the official tractor of Team Realtree. By Day6 Plot Watcher Pro, one million images, one set of batteries, one camera. By B&W Trailer Hitches, American-made trailer hitches. By Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. And by Bill Jordan's Realtree, family, friends, and the outdoors. Here at the Hot Rods and Reels Fishing Tournament on Daytona Speedway's Lake Lloyd, the top names in NASCAR come together to help the Darrow Gwynn Foundation's mission to provide motorized wheelchairs for families in need. And the action is heating up. It's going really good, actually. Uh, my man Mark here has put us on some fish in a hurry, and uh, we were calling fish, uh, what, 15 minutes into it? Right in. So uh, we, we got our limit, and we're just, uh, we're just trying to get a big fish here so we can uh, assure ourselves of victory. Wait, 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 wait. Now, wait, wait, wait. There it is. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Sure. Reel it in and cast it out a lot more than we do. It's big fish so far for us. I thought the basic principle of a bobber is wait till it goes down and then reel in. Fish on. Heck yeah. Oh, dang. I thought we were, I thought we were gonna get one. I might have a little something. You got him. Uh, yeah. Stay on the only one, keep, keep, just keep cranking. Let your drag do the work. You're good, just keep, keep the tension. Are you ready? Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna swim right to you. Yeah. Bam! Nice. That's the conclusion of our tournament. Bring them in, guys. That's the end of our tournament. As the crowd gathers for the tournament results. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of weight. The competitive drive in these NASCAR personalities are hoping for the winning weight. But there is a far greater motivation for being here. Well, we had fun today. Um, we, were, we came to meet you, though. That was the main reason we came here. So uh, we're glad to get a chance to see you, and we like your new ride. So... Uh, we're, we're glad we could come and, and support Daryl and you today, and uh, we had a lot of fun fishing. Let me do it. <laughs> nice work, everybody. We're just waiting for the iron. I mean, we've clearly got this handled. Newman's coming up. I can tell by the look on his face, he thinks that he has a shot out of it. He doesn't. I mean, look at him. I mean, he's just, you know, he's just walking like he's got all that confidence. He's fixing it, his feelings hurt, without a doubt. He said he felt confident he's gonna win something today. I'm feeling it more for Sunday. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Here we go, three fish for Ryan Newman. 7.37, 7.37. Seven. <laughs> and oh, by the way, we just might win this thing. <laughs> Again. <laughs> part of my goal today was to win. The other part was to beat Clint. But uh, it was uh, it was a lot of fun. We, I caught a fish in like the first minute and a half, and uh, never caught another fish, which was fine. But we weighed in three. I think it was seven three seven, and uh, not enough to beat. We needed we needed a, a one big fish to go with our two medium fish, and we had one small fish to go with our two medium fish, and um, just had a lot of fun. Thank Daryl and the Hot Rods and Reels program, and uh, it's fun for us to come out here. And Bass Pro Shops, Outdoor Channel, um, everybody that helps out with this deal. It's, it's a lot of fun for us, and it's uh, definitely a lot of fun for Addison to come out here. I can see that smile on his face. Oh, 
I mean, it's, it's almost not even a, you know, it's, it's not a competition with Newman. I need better competition. Can you bring somebody out here that, you know, truly can maybe call themselves an angler? I mean, we're going to have to find that guy. Addison, now I don't want to challenge him. He would probably beat me. But Newman, it's, it's not even fun anymore. Ha! I can't remember his name, but uh, he's the one with the biggest head around here. Oh, there he is. No. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Well, listen, thank you. Uh, hey, can we have Hunt Warriors team come up real quick? You want your whole team yeah. Team up there? You know, the old car was running good today. I'd like to thank the guys back home at the shop. Uh, I think the key to success is we just have more fun than the rest. Um, you know, we had we had a crowd down there. Actually, I didn't even know that I had a fish on. My barber went down, and the lady over there on the sidewalk said, "Hey, you got a fish." So I don't know that we could claim we knew what we were doing. But thank you for having us. And uh, Addison, you look good, buddy. Hey, the captain gave me a new line, and I said I'm putting it in play immediately. So uh, can, can you hand it to me? Here's some I'm taking for you. the chrome and going home. <laughs>